tonight, buildings in the city and state landmarks across New York are lit up in recognition of Transgender Day of Remembrance. The day is meant to honor the memory of tran transgender people who were killed in acts of anti-transgender violence. Today also brought members of the LGBTQ community to the historic Stonewall Inn, calling for change and mourning the lives lost. Just yesterday, a vandal took aim at an LGBTQ bar in Hell's Kitchen, and this was not the first time. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas has more on that and today's demonstration in Greenwich Village. We stand up for the lives of people. This is a speech that J.W. Walker wishes he didn't have to give. It's a speech that the dozens of people gathered outside the historic Stonewall Inn wish they didn't have to hear. We are not going to let these attacks on our community go unanswered. We will stand up. But to Walker and his nonprofit Gays Against Guns, those words are necessary. We will stand proudly. The group had already planned this display and memorial to honor lives lost over the past year for Transgender Day of Remembrance. But after waking up to heartbreaking news, they also decried the mass shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. What happened in Colorado is a pattern of hatred directed our at our community that we have to stand strong against. Our safe havens are under attack. And in Hell's Kitchen, police are investigating whether hate was the motive behind vandalism here at the LGBTQ bar verse. Saturday night, the bar's security camera captured this man throwing a brick at a window. The owner says it's the fourth time it's happened in the past four weeks. It's unnerving. It makes me wonder whether we're being targeted. It makes me feel like the brazenness of it is really surprising. NYPD stats show an increase in hate crimes against LGBTQ plus people over the last few years, with 66 reported in 2019, 38 in 2020, and then last year it jumped to 95. The most recent stats in the city's portal through September of this year show 74 for 2022. While police are still investigating the motive in Colorado Springs. To have these sacred spaces continually attacked. Walker says it brought back heartbreaking memories of the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting. We have to stand proudly. We have to stay centered in our knowledge that we on the right side of history. Gays Against Guns says they'll likely hold a separate vigil soon, specifically for victims of the Colorado shooting. In Greenwich Village, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.